the above of two major process columns in a table. Let's first zoom. You can see this is the table I have created. We have seen in the previous tutorial how to create this and what are these all and everything. If you uh, don't visit, didn't visit that, uh, please visit the previous tutorial. And now we will see how to match uh, columns first. If you want to match these two uh, particular columns, now X and Y, let's say X and Y, just go to the uh, first cell where you want to start the matching here and just say that uh, multi column multi column and in the first uh, brace you just define the number of columns you want to match that here we are matching these two columns two and in the second one you need to define the alignment let's say uh, this is center align use bars to close that uh, column and next in the last define the text let's say x and uh, y and uh, this second cell should be removed because we merge it now we are having two cells in that particular row one is a multi column and the normal cell just run this you can see we got these two columns are merged in the first row and the second cell is z we got it similarly uh, you can merge the complete three rows also let's say let's add another column here for this table use the command multi column let's say here we are merging uh, three rows and the second one um, let's give the alignment here the text let's run this sorry let's run this now can see we got here a uh, completely single uh, row in the for uh, by merging all the three columns you can see this is the uh, if you want to merge you, you should use two if you want to uh, match three columns you should use uh, three here in the first brace to define it and the text in the last brace that's how you can uh, merge the columns wherever uh, you want and similarly we will see how to merge the rows let's consider this table only let's remove this for this uh, understanding purpose let's make it again uh, x y and z now let's make these uh, two columns uh, i mean these two rows uh, the, the first column a and uh, d for that we need to use the command called multi row which is present in the package multi row so that we need to include that first use package multi row this provides us the command uh, multi row now just go to the cell where you want to start multi row this is the cell i want to start multi row there you just say instead of a backslash multi row similarly like for multi column in the first uh, option define the number of rows you want to match and in the second one with whether it's 15 point or uh, 10 point whatever it is you want to use or if you don't want to disturb the uh, table sizing uh, to leave the sizes as it is just use star and then in the in the last brace the text a and uh, b a and b and remove this here because we are merging the uh, two rows in the first column 
now run this you can see we got it but this line was uh, still there so for that you need to use here instead of h line you just use the command called c line c line uh, which is, i mean cutted line which is from second to three we don't want for the first one two to three like same we got it we got the line here for uh, two and three columns only and here we, we lost it that's what we want that's how you can um, merge columns and you can merge rows let's try to merge uh, z c f also for that go to the z use the command multi row you want to merge three yeah it was major now remove these lines for that i are make only two two here also c line c line one two two let's run this you can see we got it and here uh, we lost this here right just no need to use this we can use h line yeah that's it we got the required table that is how you can merge columns and uh, rows mm -hmm.